Time now for the Hollywood Walk of Shame, where we, I'm not going to explain this segment, you know what it's about, it's obvious, Hollywood Walk of Shame, there's a lot of shame in Hollywood and we plan to wallow in it. Our first topic tonight, George Clooney has been a strong advocate for Syrian migrants because he cares about them. He's praised Angela Merkel's open door migrant policy because it's improved Germany a lot. But now, after Europe implemented the policies he wanted, Clooney reportedly is moving his family back to America. Why is he doing that? According to Life and Style magazine, which is definitive, it's because he fears Islamic terror. Ooh, Catherine Lyons is managing editor for Famous DC. Ashley Pratt is a contributor to U.S. News and World Report. And they both join us now. Catherine Lyons, how can you be for admitting a bunch of migrants or refugees, and then as soon as they show up, you're like, you know what, I'm out. What can't you do with a lot, a lot of money? <laughs> Good point. I can't wait for the day I have so much money, I get to choose and pick between multi-million dollar houses on different continents. Like Cuomo, <laughs> Lake Tahoe, like whatever. Europe, Asia, the world, I mean, who knows? Yeah, I guess being really rich means never having to be consistent, but soon, and I'm not against well, George Clooney, I, I kind of like George Clooney, but... He's kind of good-looking. Ah, he's a nice guy, but, but shouldn't you have to, or be expected to, live with the results of the policies you advocate for. Right, so this almost is as hypocritical as Leonardo DiCaprio marching against, you know, whatever climate flavor of the day that he thinks is, you know, a huge problem. And he actually, he will fly his private jet to and from each event. And it's like, don't you see that when you're out there advocating on behalf of these policies, it's a tad hypocritical for you to then pick up and move and, and do something that you say you're against. It, it just, but you're it missing the key mind. point, which is that he bought carbon offsets, well, which are totally you know, different from medieval indulgences. Trust yes, me. No, I'm... Yes. But, like, just in George Clooney's case, though, like, he's done this before. Like, he has done this before. It, there have been reports of him, according to Life and Style magazine, of him moving another home because he, there was a refugee camp nearby, and, yeah. you know, that wasn't okay. He the only thing worse than low-income housing is a refugee camp <laughs> near my house. All right, next topic. Comedian George Lopez says the police ought to leave the country. In an Instagram post on Friday, his key means of communication. Lopez says, quote, the Trump administration is deporting Latinos to make the streets safer. You want to make the streets safer? Deport the police. This is not an indictment of all law enforcement. Some still just beat you, whatever that means. Well, today, Lopez tried to spin the post as comedy, saying he actually wanted to deport the police, the band, with Sting in it. Of course, they've been defunct since 2008. Probably wasn't talking about Sting, was he? I have a feeling he wasn't. I think this is a classic example of Hollywood intervening and a really bad joke gone even worse. Yeah. I understand. I tell bad jokes all the time, but I think if there's one group you don't want to offend, it's law enforcement. Been an awful lot of police shootings recently this year. Well, that's the part that I think really bothers me. We've seen an uptick in violence against people serving in our law enforcement and a complete lack of respect for them. Um, you know, I understand that there are some issues that we're facing as a country, and it's gotten very divisive, but I don't think rhetoric like this helps that situation. So if he thinks rhetoric is divisive on the other end of things, why is he perpetuating the other side of the You know, I said narrative? the question, we really have enough material for Hollywood Walk of Shame every week, and I think the answer is yes. Do it yeah. tomorrow. Do, let's do it tomorrow. <laughs> Thank you both.